Hello, you beautiful divine being. In this video, we are talking about the energy of compassion, or you can think of that as divine compassion. This energy is all about being connected to other people and the earth, humanity, plants, trees, animals, little children, older people, it really is just a beautiful, compassionate energy. You have compassion for others, especially on a global scale. So yes, this shows up one-on-one, -on -one, but it definitely shows up when you think about humanity as a whole or children as a whole, populations as a whole. Um, when you think about trees or the ocean as a whole. This is the energy of people who really feel the pain of the environment and want to make a lot of changes. This is an energy where people are drawn to nonprofit work or humanitarian services or possibly working in elder care, child care. These can also be farmers who work with the land. Now, these are definitely not job descriptions, but it just gives you kind of an idea of how this energy can be expressed at times through vocation. And this energy really is also a very empathic energy. So this can be where you are taking on other people's energy, where you're taking on other people's feelings. You really feel. You feel what other people feel and you feel for people. So one of the challenging aspects with this is to not take on other people's stuff. So while it's a beautiful space to be in, to empathize with others and have compassion with others, you also cannot take it on as though it were yours. This is a place where you might find somebody um, coming to talk to you. You're the type of person that other people feel comfortable with and they can just get everything off their chest. And people can actually use you as a dumping ground sometimes and they walk away feeling great, but you are holding on to all the shit. So you have to really notice when you are taking over responsibility for other people's well-being and forgetting to put yourself first in order to care and nurture for the things and the people that you are passionate about. This is also about creating community. So really, it's that oneness with other people that you want to create and bring together. So really bringing together people at the physical level or online in groups of people, you make work really well in a one to group situation, or you may just need a group of people in your social life to feel like you have community and that you're not isolated and you're not alone. So this really is a beautiful, loving, caring gift where you want to nurture others and you want to create something that helps humanity to serve and uplift other people. So again, remember to put yourself first and don't lose yourself in that vision for the community and make sure that your cup is filled so that you can go out and create the best version of what you're here to do to help other people. This is also that space of remembering not to wallow with other people. If other people want to use you as a sounding board, you cannot let them drag you into the hole with them if that is where they are going. A lot of times this can be an energy where you may want to give someone a hand up, but you let somebody pull you down into the hole with them. So remember to give other people a hand up, but if they don't want to come up with you, 
that's okay. That is where you put yourself first instead of being overly compassionate to the point of not holding your boundaries with other people. With this gift, you have such that nurturing compassion about you that at times you can really feel overwhelmed by states of pain or seeing something half a world away that has caused misery or destruction. And so you may actually need to process that in a way that other people don't typically have to deal with. So if you find yourself very bothered by the state of the environment or politics or whatever it is, go ahead and allow yourself a little bit of space to process or grieve. You may not want to just dismiss it right away, but again, don't wallow. Have a healthy sense of compassion plus detachment by not being so wrapped up in whatever is going on out of your control that you lose your identity or you lose your center and your groundedness because of it. You can also be really served by going into nature or going and sitting outside, having pets or volunteering to help others can really nurture your soul and help you to stay grounded and to release the overwhelmment that can sometimes feel burdensome to you. And you have just a beautiful heart, a beautiful energy of caring and of service that really helps to uplift the world. Thank you for being here at Living Your Beautiful Soul Expression. If you would like to learn more about your unique soul gift energies and how to work with your innate soul blueprint, click the links below to learn about having this read for you personally in your Akashic Records. Please subscribe and click the bell for notifications so we can stay connected and share in the comments below what resonates with you about these soul gift energies and what else would you like to know about working with your innate soul gifts. Wishing you all the best.